Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and this week I'll be sharing just how I painted this sweet autumnal songbird using watercolour. The first step is to outline your songbird onto your watercolour paper of choice using HB Pencil. You don't need too much detail at this stage as we'll be covering the area with masking fluid as you can see here, which will erase most of the pencil lines beneath it. Once you have masked the bird and the sweet berries, it's time for the first layer, which is the wash. I'm aiming today for a nice colourful and textural background and I'm going to use three different colours, raw sienna, indigo and alizarin crimson hue. As you can see here, while the paint is still wet, you can move it around a bit on the paper and introduce different colour and pattern using your brushes. My preferred brush for this is uh, a decently large mop brush. The one I'm using here is a size 14, um, but honestly use whatever you feel comfortable with as long as it's large enough to quickly cover a lot of the paper. This helps uh, to avoid muddying the colours when you're creating a soft washy background like this one. Once I was happy with the wash, I decided to add a little table salt into the mix as I love the delicacy of the tiny salt blooms. As you can see, I'm just scattering it simply across the paper and then once that was done, I put it aside to dry flat. You can see here that the colours have dried back a little paler than I put them on, which always happens with watercolour, and that the salt has done its job really very beautifully. Time now to add a little extra complexity into that background. I decided to paint some very simple curling ferns in the background of this painting. I didn't want to take away too much from what will be the focal points, so the, uh, the bird and the berries. So I'm using very light paint as you can see to keep the shapes quite pale, quite distant and quite delicate. The colours I'm using are all rusty tones designed to imitate the golden brown of autumn bracken. So I'm using raw sienna, 
burnt sienna and a touch of Van Dyke brown. After layering up as many or as few ferns as you like in the background, I finished this section off with a quick dusting of the brown colour paint I was using before putting it aside. Make sure the painting is absolutely bone dry before you go to remove the masking fluid, otherwise you may smudge the paint and potentially damage the paper as well. When it comes to painting the bird, I wanted to keep a lightness of touch wherever possible, so I'm adding only very light colour to the wings using a little bit of watered down indigo mixed with a touch of alizarin crimson for a soft pale grey.
the main body of the bird I will paint in lovely bright burnt sienna, deepened here and there with small quantities of indigo and van dyke brown, all of which are wonderfully strong rich colours. To paint the bird's eye, I used my fine detail brush with some lamp black paint to make sure it stood out against the dark Payne's grey detailing that I've already added to the bird's face. This part can however be quite fiddly, so do remember that a great alternative is to grab a black fine liner pen uh, to add the eye detail as this can sometimes afford you more control and dexterity than a brush. Now to add the finishing touch, which for this piece are these bright golden berries. 
Uh, I'm painting them a lovely enticing yellow using only one paint, quinacridone gold or quin gold as it's more often known. It's um, a wonderful and versatile colour so as you can see I am brushing on a very watered down layer of the colour first then dotting in little patches of richer paint wet and wet to make sure these berries look really nice and ripe and golden. Lastly, I'm using a small rigger brush, this is a size zero, to dance some vertical vines around these berries to link them all together. And here is the finished painting. So thank you everyone for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this painting video. I had honestly so much fun with this one, and for me these colours are so lovely and bright and seasonal and very cheering on a dull grey day. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me then you can follow the link below to my Patreon page for some more exclusive tutorials, uh, but that's all from me this week. So I wish you all a wonderful day and very happy painting.